All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Got a new project that I'm going to start that um, I saw a lot of people doing, and I uh, always wanted to do it and um, have my own. This right here is a MC9, which was a Greyhound bus. And I'm getting ready to convert this Greyhound MC9. <coughs> excuse me, into a RV. Um, anybody that watch my channel and subscribe to my channel, if you haven't, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. You'll be able to see the build that I did on a 1991 E350 um, um, RV, Coachman's RV, um, which um, before I finished it, uh, someone wanted to buy it, um, even though I was not building it to sale. Just like I'm not building this bus to sell, but however, if someone come along with the right price, um, they can take it home with them. But anyway, um, thank y'all for um, coming back to my channel. It's dark out here. I got lights inside of it, but this is the cockpit. I just want y'all to see the cockpit in it. Um, I already started gutting it out um, and almost forgot to... Uh, start video and if anybody know me, you know, I I be working. I'm more into my work than I am these YouTube videos But however, um, hopefully this um, This bill here will get me um, At least a million viewers and subscribers uh, So make sure y'all push like and subscribe um, Push the button um, So you know when I'm on and I'm gonna get ready to show it to y'all now Right here, when you first come in the front door, there was a, a rack where I, um, where you walk up in the, and grab onto a handrail. I already taken that out. That's the only thing that I actually taken off of this bus. I will show y'all the outside of this bus and let you see how it runs. Um, this bus right here was almost given to me, given to me. Um, so I got it on a low, low, on a real low cheap. So right now I'm getting ready to remove all of these seats out of here. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me shine some light, more light down that way if I can. Um, I'm getting ready to remove all of these seats. I'm getting ready to remove the luggage rack. I'm getting ready to take and gut everything out of this bus. All the way, including the bathroom. Because I don't want that nasty bathroom that they come that they have on the Greyhound buses. So um, I'm gonna do the floors, I'm gonna do the whole inside of it. I'm gonna make it a nice motorhome is what I'm gonna do. Um, just like I was trying to do with the RV, like I did with the RV. Um, but uh, actually I think I wanna keep this one. All of that right there is coming out too also. Everything is coming out so Right now, I'm going to see how long this uh, camera run. This right here is something new that I'm using right now, but this is not the camera that I actually purchased to use for YouTube. I got a 360-degree camera with a high-power zoom in that I will be using if I ever get a chance to uh, set it up. Just like I really haven't set this up. You can look down through the aisle and everything. Matter of fact, you can walk down through there. And you can see, they're very nice seats. So if you know anybody that needs some bus seats that fit inside of a Greyhound, um, there's probably only about one, one of these seats in here that I saw was damaged so far. But I'm getting ready to be throwing these out the window right now. So if you, you offer me a, a decent price for them, you can get them. I mean, all the the, the leather, uh, vinyl um, that's on the back of the seats are good. Um, it's a little bit dark back here. I had to move the light closer, but um, as you can see, this vinyl. Let me get closer to. It. Let me go up here where one you can see with the light. All of these seats in here looks just like that. They are in mint condition. They are in mint condition. I don't know, I, I guess these seats been re-upholstered if they have, somebody spent a pretty penny doing it. But I know because this is the only one that's damaged and that's just a handle. On the, on the, on the, um, probably be a few more of them damaged by the time I get them out because once I start taking them out, I'm, they, 
they going out the window. I'm not interested in these sheets. Um, so I'm going to let this camera run as long as I can and see if I can set it to where y'all can get a good view somewhere while I take the first couple out or something. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, this may be a good position right here for it. <coughs> Excuse me. The dust actually gets to me. Matter of fact, let's set this right here. I'm not using this right now. I'm trying to set this camera up. I got tripods and everything. I just don't have time to unpack this stuff to use. It. Like I say, videoing is really not my thing. So I don't know how long that'll sit there. But if it fall over, as long as it don't break, I'm okay. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, my air ratchet right here and. Uh, Let's try it. This is going to be the hard side of here. Let's see if I can get up here. I don't know if you can see it now. But I'm really going to try to do better uh, by my videos. Shoot my videos for y'all. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's find this break. This particular one. Or else I had to go back to my shop. The bus is too big to get it inside my shop to work on. Yeah. 
So, see, I think this one is loose. Okay, yeah, see, there we go. I want to see that. Let's turn it sideways. So let me show y'all what happened here. Let me get the camera. Okay. So now I took that front piece off right there because right here is where my passionate captain chair is going to be sitting right here. I mean, that my chair is going to be right there. But I took that one seat off. It didn't take long. So I'll say by, um, I'll probably work on this all night and I'll get all these seats loose, but they'll be laying in, in here. Um, I may not be able to get them all out the door, but they'll at least be loose to where they can be taken out the door. And then tomorrow I'll be able to start on the luggage rack. And I'll get, I'm sure I can probably get that luggage rack out in at least a half a day or something. So it takes about, <clears throat> 15 minutes on every seat the way I just did it, but I'm gonna find a better tool so I don't have to use a Adjustable wrench, but that adjustable wrench worked good. I'm gonna find me a socket that'll fit right on there real quick And I can just zap it off And once I get all these seats out and the head that luggage rack out I'll be able to uh, in that toilet out Then I'll be able to get ready to lay out my floor plan because I plan to have I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not a master bathroom in the bedroom and a full bathroom outside of the bedroom that includes the shower um, I plan to have a nice kitchen space I plan to have a nice dining area and I plan to have a nice living room and I also plan to make the cockpit nice so this right here is the bill on the 
<laughs> excuse me, y'all gotta forgive me, but as I work on so many things, this beer right here is on a MC9, 40 foot long Greyhound bus, is what this is. And when I finish it, I guarantee you, you won't know it. Everybody's gonna want one when I finish it. This is my first one. Ever since I rode on a Greyhound bus, I always dream of having my own. But I never knew I never knew that I would have my own until just now. When I purchased this yesterday. And I got it yesterday. Only thing I got is I got a little small oil leak that's wrong with it. And it has a little power stern um, issue with it, which may be a leak too. Um, and I hope I hope that's all it is. Um, but everything else, it got a Detroit engine in it and an Allison transmission. And you can see, I don't know anything about the gear shifter or anything like that. But you can see, let's see if I can get the light shine down. You can see, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's got, actually, you can't see it right now because of the light. But it's got like one, then it got one, two, then it got one, three, then it got one, four, then it got neutral, then it got reverse on it. Um, I know what reverse is, I know what neutral is, I basically know what one is, but one, two, one, three, and it's got this lever that you can pull up. So somebody told me it was a 10 speed. I have no clue what it is. Only thing I do know is it don't have no gas, no uh, diesel um, me um, meter on it. To tell you how much fuel you have in the tank. You don't have a fuel tank gauge on it. So I'm going to have to put one of those on there. And some of this stuff over here I think I could take out. But I kind of like the dashboard. You know. I, I don't like the steering wheel. It's kind of huge. But I don't know if that. I got to do my research on that. And all that is just fix that cracked glass. But other than that. Everything else is, is fine. I mean, it runs good. I got to change a few bulbs in it. But it runs. It's great. I mean, she fires right up. So, I'm going to hit y'all back in about two or three minutes. Sorry the video is so long. And I'll let y'all see once I finish the rest. All right, peace and be blessed.